Hey YouTubers and Hot Wheels collectors, this is CJ Hot Wheels with my Christmas haul. I yes, I hope you guys had a nice Christmas. So I know I did. So uh, I got a cool bunch of cool cars. So uh, anyway, let's get started. All right, first I got this cool three pack only because of this particular model. The Camaro ZL1 with the opaque wheels because as you got you guys know or most of you guys know that they released two variations of these Camaro ZL1s but one with these wheels, opaque wheels and then they had one with transparent wheels or at least translucent so I have that. I have that one, but I put it away, so... But I got it because this is the one that he needed. But I still need to find one in the package. So that way... Uh, I, I can have it in the package. This is only a 3-pack. But anyway. It has a nice... comes with a nice Nissan 370Z and copper up there. And I have the Skyline already. This is my third variation. I have one in the package, and then one cracked, and then now one in this three pack. All right. Uh, let's see. I got the whole set of um, the Flying Customs. As most of you guys know, Walmarts are getting these Flying Customs, which was an original series back in the 80s, 1980s. And it can, uh, the series had pretty cool cars. They were all metal metal and had black walls for the most part. So yes, I got the whole set. So uh, let's take a look at these. I got the Dumpin' A. This is my very first Dumpin' A. Yes, I never had a Dumpin' A before and I know this isn't... Oh yeah, should I leave this? Yes, this is an older casting. What was this? Oh, this is a reproduction model, so it won't say. I also got the 77 Plymouth Arrow, funny car. And all right, it's got the rubber bands on it, so you can open it. But I would keep this in the package. But I, I don't know. I, I'm not trying to be pushy or bossy. I'm just saying, if if you uh, if these if you wanna, now nah, forget it. Forget it. I got the 69 Copo Corvette. This is sweetie sweet. That's nice. Yeah, the card arts, by the way, are look just like the original Flying Customs. Wait a minute. I, I think, weren't these from the 1970s or 1980s? I think it was either late, I think it was in the late 70s to early 80s that these cars, the Flying Customs, were released. Somebody let me know, please. Uh, I got the 76 Chevy Monza. That's sweetie sweet. This is my second favorite hot one. Or, hot one. What am I saying? My fav my second favorite Flying Custom. I'm sorry. The last car from the set, and also my favorite. Bam. 74 Chevrolet Vega Pro Stock. I love this car. This thing is sweetie sweet for the sweets. It's got a nice wheelie bar in the back. It's got a parachute. It has a nice um, hood scoop or air scoop on it. And it has a green interior, green paint job, and it's also satin. It's at a satin finish. Has, um, yes, has a metal base. All of them are metal metal. They're tough and sturdy. So, anyway, that's the whole set of Flying Customs. Now, I also got the whole set of the new jukebox cars. So, uh, let's get started. Let's see, I'll go in order by decade. From the 30s. We have Delta Blues, and the car is a 34 Ford sedan delivery, but I've noticed that the body is actually skinnier than the original 34 Ford, 
Yes, I, I, uh, I've noticed it. So I looked at it and it, it, w it wasn't this skinny. So. so that's from the 30s. Now for the 40s, we have Swing. And the car, 41 wheelies. Nice detailed headlights on the front. Has nice um, door panel on it or tampo. So that's nice. Look at that card art. Isn't that sweetie sweet? Let's see. Now from the 50s. Got rock and roll. 56 flash cider. Isn't that nice? Or sweetie sweet? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's a little bent on the top. But thankfully these aren't too expensive, so... I can get another one, I hope. Now from the 60s, Soul. The 66 Pontiac GTO. Or six, mm, excuse me. 67 Pontiac GTO. It's pretty sweet, black top, stripes with stars in them. Has the nice graphic, but I can't, I know you can't really see, but the, the, see the chrome bumper? Look how black it is, if you can see it. As you can, in the front, it's pretty chrome. It's, it's a little dark. But in the back, it's black. It's like it got burnt or something. Nah, I don't know, but it's just the back of the car is really dark for some reason. I don't know. Uh... I don't know why, but they skipped over 70s and 80s. I don't know why they don't have um, cars for that for that uh, for those two decades. But then they skipped from the 60s all the way to the 90s, and this is the time of grunge. And this is a 95 Camaro, nice metallic purple paint job, gold five-spoke wheels, has nice striping on the top. It's got a nice card art. And yes, I do like 90s music, even though I don't listen to a lot of it, but there is some songs that I do like from that time, period. And the last one, which is my least favorite because I hate today's music, and it just, uh, it's too gangster looking for me. It's the hip hop, Han Civic. Now this one, uh, I don't have too much to say about it. But I did notice one thing. Look at it. it, has two Honda logos, one on the hood and then one on the grill. That's kind of weird. But, yeah, I, I don't like this. I just don't like hip-hop, I'm sorry. For all you music criti critics out there who love today's music, I'm just, I'm just saying that I just, I don't like today's music. I don't at all. It's gone down the drain. That's what I'm saying. That's my own, my own personal opinion. I'm just not going to say anything else about it, so that's all I can say. And then I have two new main lines that I had to get online because our stores don't have them. I got the Volkswagen Cool Combi. Now this is sweetie sweet. I wish I could crack this thing so bad, but this is my only one. But hopefully our Target will get something in because our, the worker said that to check on Friday because they might expect a ca um, some cases in. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I highly doubt it, but anything can happen. And I also got the Flintstones Flintmobile. Check that out. Sweetie sweet. Pretty heavy for uh, mostly plastic. Well, actually, no. The interior, the wheels, and this these pieces are metal, so actually not all, of, most of it is metal. But, yep, um, actually I have two more, I didn't get these for Christmas though, so I just haven't shown them yet. Got that cool mini. And I've noticed that at Target's, people have been reporting blister packs that are cracked. They have cut open uh, bubbles and the cars are hanging out of them. I went to the community hall. Yes, I go there. I, I, I'm not a member, but I just like to go in there and see what's new. But um, have, people have been reporting finding matchboxes with opened bubbles. And kids aren't doing that either, because usually if you think about it, it might 
it sounds like a kid is tearing them open, but no, that's just a factory defect. So, uh, anyway, oh, 10 minute video. Alright, I'm gonna speed it up. This is my last car I'm showing. Wi Fi Chevy van. I got this at Wally World. Actually, no, I got it at Target. That's right. And it's pretty sweetie sweet. I like it because it has cool graphics, Wi Fi. But anyway, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you had a nice Merry Christmas, and also, I hope that you guys have a nice Happy New Year. So, take care and happy collecting.